Hey there, this is a short video where we're going to walk through one of the most common uh, spatial operations that we do in, in GIS systems, which is spatial join. Um, spatial joins are where we take the attributes of one layer and we join them to a second layer based on some kind of geographic relationship. One of the most common ways we might do this is if we have point data, like households or individuals or observations or um, diagnoses of illness, etc. And we want to think about what's the, the larger pattern, so we want to add a census tract boundary or some other kind of boundary um, in, it, to them. So we can identify um, points that are within polygons is a really common example of this. So there's lots of different ways to do this, lots of tools that do this. Like I said, it's really common. Um, we're going to walk through this in QGIS, and this is doing a um, point in polygon example. So this is the University of Georgia campus, and you can see here there's some areas that have been already identified of campus. Um, Side note, um, cartography here is using the shape burst tool in QGIS, which I actually like quite a bit. Um, when you are setting up a, a categorical variable, like in this case, areas, right, um, we can choose a shape burst fill. And in this case, I'm going from a color to a transparent, and then I just have, so I just have that color just on the outside of the areas. And it's a nice little um, cartographic trick, I think. So um, we're going to add some points to this map. So we've got the areas. Let's add our points. Our points are going to be some photos that were taken by students in a past semester around campus. So um, pull them over so you can see them on screen. Um, we have them in a CSV file. Um, the CSV file is this one right here, photo point sample data. And it actually has x and y coordinates in the data. If you were to look over here, you'll see there's x and y coordinates right here. So we can add them to the map just straight from the CSV file. So we'll go ahead and click on Add, Close, and you'll see the points. And most of them map into one of these areas. There's a couple of rogue ones here. Um, but for the most part, they, they fit on campus pretty well. Um, but if we open the attribute table for these points, you'll see that um, they don't have, have x and y coordinates, but they don't have an area. And so what we're going to do is add that in. And the tool to do that, like I said in QGIS, is the Join Attributes by Location tool. Um, that's under Dated Management. So Join Attributes by Location. Or if you have the Processing Toolbox open, you can also just Join Attributes by Location. And you'll see it here. So either one of those gets you to the same place. And you get a box that looks something like this. Your input layer is what you're joining to. It's what you want to add attributes to. So that's what makes it the input layer. So we're going to go ahead and choose our photo points. That sounds good. And then our join layer is the campus areas. So we actually have two copies of that layer on here right now. So I can choose either one of those. And then you want to indicate the relationship. So in this case, I want to join attributes for all points that are within the campus areas. Um, if you had two polygons, you might do something like intersects or touches or crosses. Those crosses might be for a line, like a road or something like that. So there's different kinds of relationships that you can indicate, but there's some kind of geographic um, connection between these areas. Points and polygons within, that's a pretty straightforward one. So if I go ahead and click on Run, it should go pretty quickly. I don't have very many points in this, and it only took about half a second. Um, here, so we go ahead and close that. And now we have a new joined virtual layer, this little bug bug kind of processor thing here tells you that it's stored just in virtual memory. It's not saved on my computer yet. Um, I did not want to choose properties. I wanted to choose attribute table. Um, apologize for that call. Um, let's try that again. Um, open attribute table. And if you scroll over, you'll see um, South Campus, North Campus, etc. has been added. So that works pretty well. And so now we have this file that's got these areas added. In fact, even if we wanted to, we could go through them and take this um, do properties now. Give it a second for it to come up. Get that joins layer. And if we wanted to do categorized, we could choose that area name, which is right down here. Classify. Okay. And now the points should now show up. You can see those points are colored by the area that they're in. So that works, that works pretty well. So that's an overview of how to do spatial joins in QGIS.